the last of the crossover matches sees England take on Korea. We know seven of the eight quarter finalists who will fill that last slot against Holland on Thursday evening. The next hour and 15 minutes or so will answer that question. England, for all their trails and tribulations in the pool stage, is performing well, dominant in possession and attacking play in all their matches so far. The last piece in the puzzle is the finishing. Solve that tonight and Korea should be swept aside. As for the Asian Games champions, they have struggled going forward. Just one goal scored in three matches with the lowest number of circle penetrations and shots of any of the sides left in the competition. An increase in attacking play is required this evening. That said, they have pace up front and with England's willingness to attack, Korea will be looking for the counter-attack. But this is a World Cup that's served up a number of surprises. England fans will be hoping this isn't another, while Korean fans will hope their team can spoil the party. The teams make their way out onto the pitch. This massive West Stand welcomes both sides. And now the national anthems of both countries, Korea and then England. is the fifth World Cup meeting between these two countries. Korea won the first two, 3-2 in 1990 and 98. In 2002, it was a three-all draw with England winning 4-3 in a shootout. Last time up in 2010, it was one all. England were one up in that one. Let's have a look at the two sides, starting with England in goal. Matty Hinch, a back five as it has been throughout. Unsworth, Toman, Ansley, Pernweb and Ballston. Midfield trio, Haycroft, Townsend and Owsley. And a front two of Danson and Bray, the same team that started against Ireland. On the bench, the likes of Petty and Lane, who is the under-21s captain, will look to make a difference. As for Korea, in goal, it's Huang. A uh, back four of Kim Jong-ran, the, uh, the uh, skipper, Lee, Cho and Jang. Midfield three of An Kyo Ju, Kim Ok Ju, and Lee Yuri. And a front two of Cheon Cho Ki, Kim Bo Mi, and Cho Ki Jin. Sadly for Korea, number 10, Park Mi Hyun is fully dressed and on the bench. There she is, one of the most experienced players in the Korean squad. But clearly, injury prevents her from taking part in this crucial match in this Vitality Hockey Women's World Cup. Korea are going to have to do it the hard way without their talismanic striker. England 
just need to find that finishing touch, you feel, if they can maintain their attacking prowess in this playoff match. Everyone seems to be enjoying themselves, smiles on people's faces now. Will that be the case in an hour and 15 minutes time? In his career in the white strip with uh, the blue bottom half attacking the goal away to our left-hand side. England as they have been throughout in all red. And Toman out to Townsend. And I'm Charlie Broom alongside me for this one, Mel Clulo. Mel, lots of chat over the last day or so, but now it's time to play. Your thoughts ahead of this one. I'm looking forward to it. I think England put in a really good performance against an Irish side the other night, and for me, the big performance turned up and played. So Sophie Bray had her best game of the tournament, Susanna Townsend, um, and it's basically more of the same. The officials for this one, Amber Church of New Zealand, blowing on the far side as Toman gets it out of the circle. She's blowing on that far side, the goal England are defending. And Liu Xiaoyang from China, on the right-hand side of screen. Danson wins the free hit, and uh, Kim Young ran the skipper has to be careful, running the ball away. Hansley to Ballston. Here is Unsworth. Hansley thought about it, it was pretty telegraphed, and John Seal Key got across. If, even though Park New Hyun's not playing and, and is, has been their talisman over a number of years, I, she hasn't been at her best game in this tournament, so maybe she came in with a niggle and it's just got worse as the games have gone on. And they've got a good couple of replacements, haven't they? Chon Seul Ki, the number 16, has been given, as has Park Seung Ga, the number 11 for Korea. Both have uh, played very well for them. Korea ranked nine in the world, England two. And these two did meet in the uh, Hockey World League finals in Auckland at the back end of last year in the bronze medal game. Korea won that one by goal to nil. Toman has a little look up, tries to thread that down the corridor, which she does. Danson can't quite pick it up and is frustrated with herself that she didn't. Kerry, sun in his eyes. Just uh, past 8.15 in the evening in London. And it's a very pleasant evening for playing hockey. A little breeze and perfect temperature. Not too hot, not too humid. A great pass, picking out Park Sungar. Now, here goes Park. Kern Webb has her stick entangled with Parks. And Park just not on the right wavelength as her teammate outside at jump. And pick up from Bray. There is uh, Martin. Nice work from Martin. Tackled by Jump. Makes a mess of the area. Falls into Perm Webb. Toman. And again, a little misunderstanding with Danson. Alex Danson was just leading a little bit further back for the pass. Anna Toman thought two steps to the left, and then Alex Danson was going to lead onto it. Danson just shaking her right hand, picked up a knock, still looking at it and giving it a shake. But now. It's back into the zone. Aerial ball, nicely done from Ballsden. Hansley. And certainly more press coming from Korea at the start of this one. Yeah, we haven't seen that from, from them much in this tournament, and perhaps buoyed by the fact that they beat um, England in Auckland that, by that solitary goal. And obviously they've had the opportunity to watch England play in all their group games, so I'm sure they're out there definitely fancying their chances. Stops in her prime. Three hits for Korea over the top. 
Lindsay had to make that one, she does. Rolls it into Townsend. Now, Susanna Townsend, this is what she's so good at, running and breaking the line. Dancing to her right-hand side. Danson head up, takes on the defence, and she's just overrun it. Good thinking from Danson. Townsend gets in and is penalised for the uh, hitting of the Korean defender stick, but that is good intent. Yeah, and I, I, I'm a fan of Susanna Townsend playing on the right-hand side, and she's actually proved in this situation the reason why her skill sets are suited to the right-hand side, and she's one of the best at breaking that line and linking up with both Alex Danson and Sophie Bray. She's moved and she was on the left for the first couple of games, moved to the centre and the right for the Ireland game. Uh, and obviously seems to have taken up that position early on in this one. Yeah, I mean, obviously the, the midfielders are able to play left and right hand side, but particularly at the start of this tournament, she was predominantly on that left hand side. Quickly take it, Danson could be in around the back here. Danson, head up, can she pull it back? She can, but there's no red shirt. The swing and the miss from Hannah Martin as it's just taken away off the end of her stick. And now an opportunity for Hunter to have a go. Wins the long corner. And again, that right-hand side proving so fruitful in terms of opportunities for England. And once again, they can't find the finishing touch as Kim Jong Ran and just to slot it through Damon's legs to relieve some pressure. There goes Chomp, still key up against Ballston. Chomp chasing Ballston down. Nice work from Ballston Martin with plenty of space, but there's a lot of white shirts in front of her. Not too many red. Here is Hunter, dancing in front of her. Martin's continued her run. Hunter plays the percentage ball, drops it out to Toman. Hansley. Line from Lane. Here is Raya. Lane, Hearn Webb, Toman. England, as they have done throughout a lot of their matches, enjoying plenty of possession. Against Ireland in the last match, they had 62% possession, 39 circle entries, 31 shots. It's a measure of how well the Irish goalkeeper played. But the final score is 1-0 as the aerial ball's put over and it's been missed by Lane. And an opportunity here for Korea. And Kimbo Me wins the free hit. Kim runs into a strong tackle from Susie Petty. Still there, Lane, good tackle, and Lane wins the free out. I think what's important for England is if they're going to dominate the possession as they did in that Irish game, they can't get bored of doing the right thing, so when they're playing the ball around the back, you've really got to just keep going one side to the next, one side to the next, and wait for the opportunity to open up. It looks again as if they're, they're favouring this right-hand side, which is absolutely fine, but the trigger is almost this right defender who is often Anatoman, pushes up the pitch as far as she can. England have the third most penetrations. Lovely take. Good shot. Bray just takes too long. And the follow-up. Bray scores. And England have that early breakthrough. High fives from Danny Carey. There's a lot of chat. I think there could be a referral here from uh, the Koreans, and they are going to refer it. We're going upstairs to Maggie Giddens. Maggie? Yeah. Question. Stick. Maggie? Yes. They are looking for stick tackle. OK, yeah. I'll take it. Thank you. Oh, is there a stick tackle in here? Well, it's definitely a sound of something. I think there's there. a swing and a miss on Sarah, ha Sarah Haycroft, swing and a miss and hits the keeper. Sophie Bray just slightly needed a better first touch or needed to take it further, but Huang does really well there to actually get the glove on. Personally, I think that's a foul on the goalkeeper by Sarah Haycroft before Sophie Bray put the ball in the net. Well, what does Maggie Giddens think? That's the important thing just here. She does well, actually, to then set herself and roll on the left-hand side, but... My question mark is over Sarah Haycroft. But, but, but does Bray get hit first by the keeper? But Maddie 
Maggie Giddens obviously happy enough. Just here, let's see here. Does she get hit by the keeper there? She gets smacked with the stick. She does, but she's already made the save, so that for me isn't really the, the issue. My question mark is around the swing and the as miss. I say, the, the swing and missed. Cindy? Yes. There is no clear reason to change your decision. Goal stands, Korea loses the referral. So England's goal stands and Korea lose their referral inside the opening eight minutes. Let's have another look at this one. The aerial ball over the top, well brought down by Haycroft. Fed Bray, who was denied the first time. There's the swing and the miss. And Bray then finishes it off. So England won. Korea nil. The field goal scored by Sophie Bray. Her first of the tournament. And her 44th goal for England and Great Britain. Good to see I'm keeping up with my really poor decisions on video referrals, eh? Don't want to change anything, do we? Suppose not, though. So here goes Haycroft again, Bray onto Danson. Bray still in there, it's fallen here to Hunter. And Korea get it clear just. It's good by England that once they've scored the goal, they're now pressing Korea, not giving them an opportunity to on the ball. Sometimes you can score and then you just sit off and have a five, four or five minute breather before you then go again. Here's Ansley. Drops it out. Lane. Boston. Back out by Petty. Unsworth. Ballston under pressure, going for the big hit, good big hit as well to Townsend. Here goes Martin, Townsend again, Ansley on space on this right-hand side, and she's been found, but she can't bring it under control. Brilliant pass from uh, Townsend, and desperate defending from Cho and ji wins the long corner as Sophie Bray looked to try and get it free. Good by Townsend to go against where the runners were, were going, so the Korean defence was all piling over to that left-hand side. And Giselle Ansley picked up that really good position on the right-hand side and Townsend was able to open up her body and ideally it would have been flat, but... Good work from Ansley. Good high hand and by coordination. Owsley. Owsley so good with the ball in front of her, plays it in. And a long corner of Cho yun Ji. Danson, plays it into the circle, Bray is there, helped on by Owsley, but wide. So Danson just opting to scoop the ball in with the reverse stick, and what's great to see is there's three England strikers in and around that ball, all of them trying to get it in the back of the net. Something I think has been certainly was lacking at the start of the tournament, but has improved oh. with every game. Coming into this one, they've had 89 circle penetrations, 55 shots coming into this. So the attacking stats would suggest that actually it's okay. It's just that last minute bit, the important bit of trying to actually get the ball in the goal. That's the that was the second most until uh, Argentina played last night. Argentina, 34 circle entries, 18 shots against New Zealand. It was a very impressive display by Las Leonas. the other end, Maddie Hinch has only faced 12 shots on her goal. Here is Park, Park on the reverse stick, and I tell you what, that's not too far away. Lee Young still sliding in from the cross from Park Chung-ga. 
Great ball in. Completely takes out Pern Webb. She wasn't too far away, was she? She gets a touch on that, and it's very difficult for Hinch to keep it out. But yeah, as I say, in the defensive end, the Dutch goal has had 12 shots on it, and England's goal has had 12 shots on it, the best of any of the uh, nations in this tournament. That's great work from Owsley. Townsend looks for the option right and then goes to Unsworth on the left-hand side. Cut out by Cho. And Pern Webb wins possession back. Townsend looking for the ball in. Trying to pick out Sophie Bray. It's not quite there. Alison Adam, the cap on in the middle of it. Head coach of the Netherlands, who will play the winners of this crossover match. And secretly, I'm sure she wouldn't say that, I'm sure she'd like to play England. Given what uh, England slash Great Britain have done to her size in the last two years. I mean, beaten in the European Championships here in 2015, and of course in Rio, the Olympic final. Yes, her team have uh, won pretty much everything else they've played since Rio. Good steal here from Martin Bray in the middle. Here comes Danson, still going Martin. There's Bray. What a save! What a save from Huang! I'm not sure how she's kept that out, but she has. And she gives away the penalty corner, but it could have been a lot worse for Korea. That's a fantastic steal by Hannah Martin. It's a great lead ahead of her, actually, as you can see there from Bray, which puts the defence in all kinds of trouble. But I think Sophie Bray is actually trying to play the ball across to Alex Danson. Bang manages to get it with that left wow. pick up. That's, that's some stop. Well, England's penalty conversion. Well documented. This is the first penalty corner of the evening. Penalty corner number 28 in the competition. Final throws of this first quarter. As he picks up, good save by Huang. Martin drops it out. Per Webb on the reverse. Shot comes in into the sideboard. 16. Nothing wrong with that penalty corner on target, forcing a good save from Huang. Yeah, Anthony scored the other night against Ireland. Quang will be happy with that, and then the helmet pops off. She does well, actually, to put it back on with... The... I don't know how she managed to put it on with the, with the mitts on as well, but she did that. Well, it's obviously quite loose if it comes off that easily. It's obviously fairly easy to put back on again. I suggest it probably wants to be a little uh, tighter. Now, a bit of concentration required by England to see this uh, quarter out. Toman wins the free hit, and that will bring an end to the first 15 minutes of play. The, fight, uh, the hooter sounds for the end of the first quarter, and Sophie Bray is the difference between England and Korea in this crossover match at the Vitality Hockey Women's World Cup 2018. Quarter time score, England 1, Korea 0. So I think England will be very satisfied with the way that first quarter has gone. Let's have a look at the highlights, Mel. Here's the goal. Uh, so a long ball from, from Ansley. Well taken, you have to say, by Sarah Haycroft, who then follows up. Great save initially by Huang, and then the ball just pops out to Sophie Bray on that reverse stick. But this is a fantastic take by, by Haycroft. Under pressure in the opponent's circle. Brings it down. Sophie Bray's never going to miss from there. And you have to say, England thoroughly deserved the to be one nil up at quarter time and for them to score so early in the game has got to give them a whole load of confidence for the for the remainder of this half and the game well, that's david ralph giving the instructions to the england team danny carry up in the stands who sang young prefers to be down in the thick of things there is the england coach Bray, who's got that heavily strapped right shoulder. Well, uh, won't feel it quite as much. Now she's got that goal. OK, let's get over to Krista. Who have you got? I've got David Ralph here. 
So great intent by England, a great start. Can we secure it through this next next quarter? Yeah, we've just got to keep going with what we're doing. They've obviously got some skills that could hurt us. We have to pay attention to that and just keep going with the intensity and the forward play that we've had and the connections we're having further up the pitch. And career have come out to play. They're putting us un under pressure down the back here. Yeah, and particularly with the aerial ball and the length it is and the pressure puts on you. And when they get up there, you know, they put pressure on. So, yeah, they're here to play, so we just have to keep matching that intensity. Thanks, Robbie. There okay. is a ball over the top that is uh, almost brought down by... Uh, and it's a long corner. This is very typical, isn't it, of, of, of career. Pool play, they just sort of saunter along. So long as they make it out, they're OK. And then they, then they really arrive at the party in the, in the knockout stages. Yeah, but it's an interesting tactic, isn't it? Because if you don't make it out of the pool, then you've basically ruined your World Cup. But it is something that they do historically. I personally think probably their best opportunity to score is going to be from corners. Um, probably going to curse it now, but yeah, I think they, they certainly fancy their chances against England and they are playing with an intensity that we've not seen previously. All across, it's well taken in by uh, Unsworth. He feeds it out through Haycroft to Owsley. Owsley, Danson wants it to our right, just outside the outstretched stick of Charl into the. Owsley again, Owsley wins the free hit, takes it quickly, Owsley, can she pull it back, Owsley still going, back it comes, and would you believe it, the one person you'd wanted to fall to in front of goal, Alex Danson, and her first touch is a little heavy. Great interchange there between Owsley and Danson leading up to the free hit, and then Owsley, quick thinking to take the, uh, the free hit, had absolutely no one around her, and yeah, Danson from four yards out is difficult, but you'd expect her to make it. Bray picks out Townsend, Townsend into the circle, Townsend shoots! Townsend is wide, and on the far post, going to ground, is Susie Petty. Didn't quite make the touch on the far post. I think there's two or three players over there, to be honest. Townsend puts into fantastic areas, Danson first and Petty second. Toman can't quite bring it under control, but Unsworth can. Feeds Toman, Toman. Little look up inside to Danson. Danson well tackled. And Danson gets back to make a tackle of her own onto her foot. Quickly taken by uh, Lee. Well won back by Owsley. Owsley into the stick and then kicked by Kim Young Ran. Townsend. It's a pretty horrible tackle from Kim ok -Ju. Turn web. Falls into Ansley. England happy to play it backwards and forwards across the back line. Into Perm Webb, she'll drop it out. And this is the patience that's required to break down this loaded Korean defence. Chun, nice ball from Chun into Choi Suji. Ballston gets across. Martin's going to have to scamper. She can't get there. Free hit to Korea. Quickly taken through the skipper Kim Young Ran. Kim. Peels back to that right-hand side, feeds it to Choi Suji. Choi, dispossessed by Martin. Martin showing the tricks of her trade and wins the free hit. I think at the moment a player like Hannah Martin needs to feed off the, those experienced players, your Unsworths, your Webbs, Owsley's Townsend. I think she, she's one of those I was excited to see in this tournament because she, domestically she's has been one of the best midfielders in, in the domestic league and she, again she's been finding a way and finding her feet and here we are at this particular game and she's also probably having her best game in the tournament so far so the timing of this England team and the players to have their best games of the tournament is great. Wu Sang Yong, the head coach, had plenty of advice for his team. England still dominating possession at over 60%. Eight circle entries, eight shots. 
for England. And, uh, as he has given away the sideline ball, unable to make the trap. Here is uh, Chion. Toman stretching, keeps it in play. Good reactions from Ellie Watton to avoid that hitting her body. Danson with some lovely skill as well. Danson drops it out to Toman. Toman, Hunter leaves it. Good idea. Watton wasn't quite on the same wavelength. There's just an intensity about this England team. We heard David Ralph talking to Krista Cullen then about how he knew they needed to match the intensity and just keep doing what they're doing. And that's exactly, you know, I think Danny Carey sat up there has got to be relatively pleased that that is what they're doing. I'd argue they're probably, their intensity is better than Korea's at the moment. Korea aren't being allowed to play at the moment. Um, they've only had 39.5% possessions. They haven't had a great deal of ball to do something with. No, and I think the, the England defence has been outstanding. But hence, Maddie Hinch has only had 12 shots to make in the tournament so far. So their team defence and their defence of the circle has been outstanding. Here is Martin once again, who seems to be everywhere right now. Peels it out to that left-hand side. Lane drops it out. Here is Toman. And the England players were given a day off, weren't they? Allowed to go home for the day, which was quite strange for them, but I think well received. Yeah, obviously, you're in your home um, competition. You, if you get the opportunity to do that, then why not? I think it was something that would probably have been spoken about before the tournament. But yeah, I think it's nice to go back to familiar surroundings and, and be with friends and family. Forward by Pern Webb, Danson appealed the other way. Well, England have the early goal, got the early goal that many would have thought was settled and Nerza has, has done, but can they build on that lead? Into Danson, Danson is coming for a rest and got the ball far straight at her. But still expected to trap it though. I'm joking. No, I think the but I think the key thing for England is again stats have shown the amount of opportunities they've had. They do now need to push on and get off this we we can only score one goal in a game mentality, you know, sort of scenario and try and get two, three, four and actually make a statement to the Dutch. Watton somehow manages to keep it off her feet. Nicely done from Ellie Watton, and she's won the free hit. Well played. And all sorts of pressure. Here is Raya out on that left-hand side. Raya with a stick tangle. With uh, Choi. Pern Webb. Pern Webb allowed to get up to the 23 off the foot of Park Chungar. Hansley. Hopeful it comes off for England. No, it doesn't. Here is Kimbo Me dropping it out to uh, Lee Yuri. Kim caught by Hunter. Doesn't get the whistle though. Raya looking for a Bray off the foot of Choi. And just too quick from Petty. Meekroft couldn't pick it up. I know you can't do the same thing all the time, so England's attacking down this right-hand side. But for me, they're making the wrong decisions when to go through the middle and when to go around the outside. They're trying to go through a packed Korean defence that's set rather than a defence that's actually trying to run back towards their own goal. So just under six minutes remaining in this first half. England won Korea nil. Sophie Bray, the scorer, after nine minutes. Look at that. Now, talk about England attacking down the right-hand side. Three quarters of that attack coming down the right-hand side. Here comes Haycroft. 
to try and win possession back. Can only deflect it onto the off the pitch for sideline ball. An eighth World Cup appearance, the best finish of third in 1990. Incidentally, 1990 was the last time a team from Asia made the women's semi-final of the World Cup. Can you believe that? No, I can't actually. India have a great opportunity against Ireland to put that record straight. Owsley spins away, she's got some space here. Owsley to Danson, Danson to Bray! No, Danson tries to go over the keeper and Owsley on the follow-up is wide. Oh, that is a guilt chance for England. I think you and I are both calling this. Fantastic play by Owsley, roll it to Sophie Bray! Oh, it's 2-0 written all over it. Well, easier said than done from the commentary box. Actually lobbed the keeper, of course, with him saying, what a fantastic finish from Alex Danson. But to credit Huang, she did well. She did. And Owsley did, again, well to follow up her pass into the circle. But that was a three-on-two three on, three on two opportunity, probably three-on-one with the goalkeeper. And Webb has Bray to the left. Here is Bray. Bray trying to pick out Martin, but it's comfortably cut out by Kim Young Ran. And a chance here now for uh, Lee Young Sil. Lee might have to do this all around. Trying to get up in support is 16 Chon. Drops it out. And, uh, Winning the free hit. Or England as Anne Ho Ju try to get it across. I just see Grace Balls denying after an aerial ball across across field. Thankfully she kept the ball on the floor. Nice place pass from Lane to Townsend. Sideline ball for Korea. Kim Ok Ju. Turn wet. Career still yet to have a shot on the England goal. They've had one circle penetration in this half of hockey. And there's plenty of uh, uh, instructions coming from the Korean coach, but with such dominance, a 1 0, it's, it's, it's always a concern because you've only got to have one lapse of concentration, and all the dominance counts for not very much. And I think that was what happened in the Ireland-India game in the pool stages. I think Ireland didn't have that many circle, circle penetrations, but they, they won the game 1-0. Or well, even Italy against Korea. Korea had all the opportunities, and Italy scored five seconds from time. There really has been a World Cup of uh, shots. I was going about eight games, I think, out of the 25 have gone against sort of the world rankings, and I don't mean sort of eight against ninth where it's a one-all draw, because that might happen, but South Africa, Argentina, one-all. I mean, that's a huge surprise for those that follow hockey. It's eight out of 25, that's an awful lot of surprise results. It is, but I think in the women's game in particular, the, the world rankings are getting a lot closer together. I think in the men's game, the top four, five, six in the world are realistically that. And I think certainly in the, you know, the ladies probably from six or seven down, um, you know, you can beat anybody on your day, and it's proved that in this World Cup. Liam Sill inside the final 70 seconds, free hit to England. Lovely evening in East London. In the outskirts of the Olympic Park. Now, Owsley, and there are three red shirts in the middle. Owsley, can she find one of them? No, she can't. Townsend on the far post didn't gamble. And Martin in the middle missed it. England could be out of sight here, should be out of sight here. Oh, it's a love, actually a lovely little touch, I think, from the Korean defender that just takes it off the sticks of the English players in the circle. Chopped out by Ballston. Hansley 
almost turns into trouble. Ansley still going. She's got uh, John Sil Key with her. Ansley, Owsley. Owsley, bit of space now. Owsley running at the Korean defence into the circle. Bray, almost a lovely one-handed take on the reverse stick by Sophie Bray. She's called back. Danny Kerry will head to the dressing room. The happier of the two coaches, but I think he'd be a lot happier if England had a second goal under their belt. Sophie Bray, the scorer of the only goal of the game so far. A game that England have dominated. 58% possession, 10 circle entries, nine shots, just the one goal. Korea yet to have a shot on goal. Half-time score, England one, Korea nil. OK, Krista, who have you got? I've got Sophie Bray, the goal scorer for England. So, great start for England. What are your thoughts? Yeah, definitely good to get the first goal. Uh, now it's a case of I'm pushing on and getting the second. And England have shown so much more intent in that half than we've seen so far this tournament. Yeah, you know, we've just got to keep doing the right things, keep going and uh, keep pushing for the second goal. Thanks, Sophie. Cheers. Skew that little statistic towards Asian teams a little bit more. So England get the second half underway, attacking the goal away to our left-hand side. And uh, it is England 1, Korea 0. And England, well, got to be sure that they can build on all this good possession from the first half. Mel Clulo still alongside with Mel for all the good play and all the good possession, all the attacks. Should Korea level it up at one all? It's going to feel pretty much like a, it's going to be a real test of England's psyche, isn't it? Because it's going to feel like a sucker punch given the dominance so far. Yeah, definitely. Um, and that's why you want England to register their second goal on the board as soon as they can. And then it will be, if, if Korea do manage to score, then it becomes that mental game of, you know, do they want to even consider a shootout or do they pull a pull a keeper what what do they do and that is is it for me is the way that career are going to score is from an english mistake at this precise moment in time Pulls them. And it's one back by jump Aerial ball thrown, and chasing it down is Kimbo Mee, but Paulson will just usher that out over the uh, goal line. And Sun Yong, his team might have been outplayed in that first half, but they're still very much in it. Crowd trying to do their bit, uh, revving up the atmosphere with a, a Mexican wave. Ballston, Hansworth offers. Ballston goes back to Ansley. Hansworth is trotting up the middle of the park when uh, Ansley played the ball towards that. Spin from Unsworth. It's just a wall of white shirts in front of uh, Grace Paulsden. Haycroft, nice spin. Now, Haycroft, can she find the pass to Bray? No, she can't. Yeah. Kim Young ran. Just knocking the ball away. Turn wet. Ansley, Toman to her right, comes back to Paulsden. Sophie Bray down this left hand side. Here is Bray. Can't keep it in play though. Ball thrown long and far and picked up by Cho. Cho Hei Jin loses out to the jab tackle from Kern Webb. Korea, who are all across, cut out well 
by Ansley. Here is Bray. Bray with some space now. Still going Sophie Bray. Acroft makes tracks in front of her. The ball falls kindly to England and Giselle Ansley, who finds herself far up the park. Here is Rhea. Rhea has got no support behind her, so she has to go forward. Ansley. Nice work from Giselle Ansley into Bray. Can Bray keep it alive? That's a cracking tackle from Lee Yu Rim. Drops it out. But Giselle Ansley showing good attacking prowess there. Yeah, I think she's probably enjoyed the moment getting over the halfway line and showing her skills in the attacking half of the field. Danson, Ansley. Turn Webb, Toman. Nonsworth drops deep to take out uh, Park Sunga, who now goes chasing the ball. Paulsden, Owsley. Not even her pace can keep that one in. Good work from Lee Yuri, wins the free hit off uh, Haycroft. And uh, Paulsden takes full advantage of Cho's missed trap. Sarah Haycroft on a number of occasions has really. As the ball's on its way to the Korean defender, she's really stepped up well, and again, she's probably half a yard off winning the ball again. Oh, Ali Rea had an opportunity to bring that under control. That's a sideline ball for Korea. Play, so Haycroft will take the sideline ball. Haycroft runs across Ann and wins possession back. Choi to Ann. Rea goes looking for the ball and will drop it out. Pressure coming from Rea once more, and Rea has one back possession. Well played for Nelly Rea. Good tackle from Choi Suji. Turn Webb. Sarah Haycroft absolutely everywhere right now for England. Turn Webb. Just loses control, and here goes Lee Young Sil. Lee striding down the middle of the park. Here comes the support with Park Sung Ga. Park Sung Ga draws the foul off Unsworth. And uh, the umpire uh, just standing in, stepping in to say, calm down and bring the sticks down. Is this a chance? A first shot on target, and Hinch has to make the save, and the follow-up clearance is made, long corner. First shot of the match from Korea, and it was on target. And Korea have definitely stepped it up a gear in the second half. A lot more urgency about them now. Be interesting to watch, I think it was Grace Balsen on the edge of the circle as the ball came in. We're not going to see it from this replay, but Hinch has been a spectator, and... Going for the shot was Chun Shil Ki. Hinch does well to keep the pads together, but on the edge of the circle as that um, backhand cross came in, Grace Balsam flinched. So rather than being set, she could have taken that ball as it came into the circle, but she flinched, I guess, anticipating a lifted ball, but needed to stand firmer in that situation. The one touch down the line from Martin doesn't come off. Watton, back across the circle it goes, Bray now steps up. There's no pressure on the player in that left-hand pocket, but they've forced a poor pass and it's been picked up by Petty. Petty, Ansley, Perm Webb, Perm Webb with Park on her shoulder. Petty drops it out to Ballsden. And still, the possession stat favour England, especially in this third quarter, 65 to 35, but Korea have done much more with that 35% than they did in the first half when they had slightly more. They have, and I think for the 65% that England have had, Wang's not touched the ball in this quarter, so the possession has very much been up to the circle edge. 
I think apart from the one incident that Giselle Ansley was involved in, that was pretty much it from, from England getting into that circle. Here is Ansley once more. Trying to find Toman, but it's off oh, oh, Kimbo Me. Here is Hunter. Hunter. Patty with the run. Hunter running all the way across the pitch. Back to Ansley. Toman receives the aerial ball. Free hit to England because Cho not far enough back. Toman gets the cross in but can't get it past the first defender who is Jung Hee Sun. Now, can England do something here? Ball in from Owsley. Smart idea by Hannah Martin. Trying to Owsley played the ball into it, tried the one touch onto Townsend, just didn't quite execute that skill well enough. Sean. Yeah, allowed it to bounce and couldn't deal with it. Five minutes remaining, just over in this third quarter. Still a desperately tight game. England lead by a goal to nil. As they have, have done throughout this tournament, they have boss possession and shots, but they just can't seem to make life easy for themselves by getting a bit of a cushion. And Petit loses out on the circle edge. Chion. Ball forward, cut out by Pern Webb. Pern Webb. Still going, Holly Pern Webb. Ball forward for Bray, comes off Cho. Sideline ball. Pern Webb wants to take it quickly, too quickly. Picked off by Kim Young Rang, the skipper. Here is uh, Chon Sil Ki. Petty comes back to the foul who had been committed by Ballston. I think in the, um, in the first half, England, when they were looking to transfer the ball, tended to use their back three or more. Whereas, again, I think the ball is being given away because they're trying to play the ball into the two screen players. So a, a much flatter transfer, which isn't at the moment on. Lee goes down the sideline. Lee Urem into the circle. And Martin gets her stick on the ball to bring it out of harm's way. But she's got to Cho Hye Jin to accompany the number 19. Martin again opting to try to dribble it out of defence. Here comes the cross from Chion. Cut out by Ballston. Made into Martin who wins the free hit on the edge of the circle. Big aerial ball thrown. Danson penalised for not giving it five to Cho Yun Kyung. Still just the one penalty corner in the game. Coming to England in that, that first quarter. Toman. Running to nowhere, there's no one there in red. Toman. And the pressure from Lee Uri into Hansley, who goes aerial. And it's being missed. Now here's a chance for Martin. Hannah Martin has Sophie Bray with her. Hannah Martin, can she find something, do something? What an interception that is from Lee Urim. The Korean players have fallen over on that far side. You can see the missed aerial ball and Hannah Martin there. Sophie Bray was on the shoulder and I guess you can't hear it with the noise that's coming from the crowd. And she just looks like she ran out of ideas in that situation. Well, she managed to get the space for the cross, but uh, Lee had got herself in front of Sophie Bray, so they regrouped, as it were, her career. I think, I, I guess I question whether she could have taken the shot quicker in that situation. Yeah, I think the support was late coming for her. So I think she initially was looking for the support, realised it wasn't there. But her individual skill set is so good yep. that you would hope that she could at least try and maybe work a, work a corner in that situation. But again, it's easy set up here when you're not involved in the pressure of the, of the game. 
Jung Hee Sun with the big aerial. Manzi's underneath it again. Been pretty solid tonight so far. England number 18, Unsworth. Just runs away from her, but she's got enough speed and skill to win it back. Dancing. Balls them. Plan Webb. Hansley. Career just dropped off. Into the half court press. Allowing England a bit more space around the back. Balls them. Townsend. Out on that right hand side, Martin. Martin, nice skill into Townsend. Townsend, can she find the shot? It's all pretty congested in there. She does get the shot, but it comes off the stick of Kim Ol Ju. Nicely worked by England down the middle. Townsend couldn't get a clear side to a goal, got the shot away. But Kim was there. Hansley, Danson, with half a touch, and uh, Choi comes across to clear for Korea. Final 20 odd seconds. England looking to try and fashion one more chance at the end of this third quarter. Townsend, Unsworth. Unsworth looking up. Here is Ballston. Final few seconds, looking for Bray. Bray wasn't on that at all. And Korea will crack us down the other end of the park. There is the three-quarter time hooter. And England go into the final period, leading by a goal to nil. Danny Carey sits expressionless in the top of the stands. England, their second-best quarter in terms of possession, but they can't add to the stat that matters, the scoreline. With 15 to go, it's England 1, Korea 0. So, well, some highlights then from this third quarter. And uh, certainly Korea, well, with their only shot of the contest, and it's here. Yeah, it was Chun that managed to get the shot away on that reverse stick side, but here you see Ballsden just still moving as the ball is, is cracked into the circle. Pinch does well to put the pads together. She's been a spectator for the game up until this point. And then the speed at which she then closes down the, the rebound opportunity. And then this was England's best opportunity. Hannah Martin in this situation, I guess the angle is against her in for, the, for the, um, the immediate shot, so she does right. She does the right thing to wait for the support players, but the support players were all on the same line. So I think we ended up with... Um, could have gone there maybe to Bray, but then I think it's Danson comes in, Bray comes in, and they're on exactly the same line. One defender can mark both players. Disappointing for Danny Kerry. Kate, your thoughts? Thank you very much, Kate. And so this final quarter underway. England lead by a goal to nil. Korea, well, they need something from this 15 minutes of play, otherwise they're going home. Time to try and throw the proverbial kitchen sink at the England defence and see if they can get a goal that, if England can't respond to it, will take us to a Shija. From England's perspective, the more possession they have, the less chance they give career of attacking them. I think what's going to be key in this quarter is knowing knowing what you're going to do with your next pass before you've received the ball. I think Korea are going to step up the press. They're going to have a huge amount of intensity and energy on the pitch. And so from an England perspective, when they get the ball, they've got to know what to do with it, get it, give it, and keep on moving. Now the sides that have impressed in this World Cup have played to space rather than taking it into contact. Somehow that's gone against Korea. Toman doesn't wait for any explanation, bounces up. Here goes Haycroft, and uh, Watton tries to get it out. In by uh, Owsley, shot comes in from Townsend, and it's padded away. Perm Webb into Haycroft. This is uh, 
Watton, who's given away the free hit. So it's good play here. I think it's a sort of chuck in by Pernweb. Townsend does the right thing, tries to play the ball into the turf because it's bouncing. And Huang makes the, the left hand save. Not the tallest of goalkeepers, Huang. Young. Okay. Yep. She's big enough for that one. Owsley, lovely skill, unlucky from Liz, Lily Owsley. Jump. Spinning away is Cho. Cho under the reverse stick. Now, can she get the shot away? She can, but how about that for a, a watch from Grace Ballston? Didn't flinch there. No, she didn't. You can see, ball lifted. Good defending. She's touched tight on the Korean player, Lee. Haycross spins away. There is Watton. Watton. Can't get it under control. I almost feel that when a side um, blocks England playing on the right-hand side, they don't necessarily seem to know what to do. Um, England? Yes. You know, we saw in that st statistic in the first half how they had 74% down the right-hand side. And then if a team comes out and blocks that, how do they then play? Perm Webb into the centre of the park, and it's been given away. And uh, here goes Lee Yuri. Lee, round Townsend. Townsend tries to get a stick in. Lee can't keep control. Townsend now has her stick on the ball. Townsend has Unsworth in front of her. Here's Unsworth, but Unsworth gets a deflection. And uh, Park Shungar goes to ground. England have the free hit. That's what I mean about potentially it's going to be an English mistake that lets Korea in. Stick tackle on Owsley on the back. And Kaya Sanana still watching on. Ah, with the American uh, director of performance, is he now? I think so. In an element of coaching anyway, but Craig Parnham, the former England and Great Britain assistant coach. Well, Craig Parnham, he navigated the USA to a famous fourth place four years ago. This time, however, the uh, dream can't be repeated in the USA going home after the pool stages. Toman dropping it out to Wandsworth. Ansley. And played into traffic, and uh, unsurprisingly, Martin loses out, and here's an opportunity to two on one. Chion plays it forward, and Ansley comes across. And uh, makes a telling interception. There, not the percentage ball played into Martin rather than out wide to the left. Kim Young Ran dropping it out to um, Kim, the captain. And it just feels like it's getting a little bit nervy from an England perspective. Career starting to build in confidence. England on that. Own 23, that's a fortuitous stick from Gray, and here goes Owsley. They've got plenty of space in which to counter attack. They didn't want the whistle. I just wonder why advantage wasn't played. There was no Korean player in front. Can't answer that one for you, I'm afraid, Charlie. Unless it came off. In England, there was a secondary England indiscretion we couldn't see from this angle. Quite possibly. Martin, nice skill from Hannah Martin. Martin still going. Pretty horrible looking tackle coming in from Lee Urim. Danson. Perm Webb. Touched in from Martin, still going, the whistle hasn't gone, everyone seemed to stop expecting a dangerous ball whistle. Shot comes in from Rare, cross sliding in is Danson, and Danson penalised. Half oh, contemplated the referral there, Alex Danson, she's looking at a teammate. Hannah Martin with the, the one-time passing, Joe Hunter just missed it, Ellie Rare does fantastically well here. Don't see what the problem was with that. Did she take out the Korean defender stick? 
thought she got there first. Irrelevant, anyway. I think that's what she was probably considering. Whether it hit a foot or something in there or not. And, uh, William Player hits the deck. Number 19, Cho Gay Jin. The Korean player penalised, asking why. Korean coach not too happy either by the sounds of things. Almost the midpoint of this final quarter. England won Korea nil. England puffing and puffing, but unable to find another way through these this Korean defence. Kim Mok Ju now to Cho. Cho on the reverse stick. And Park sung couldn't quite get there. What a glorious evening. Sunset over that enormous west stand. Uh, Rare has been robbed. Cho. Back from Park. Cho again. Cho. At the moment, I don't think I can't see where a goal has come from from either side. I think, as you can see, quarter one, seven shots. That was definitely England's best opportunity. They had the two on one with Danson and Bray to, to really roll the ball into an empty net. And as you can see, one shot each in the third and fourth quarter shows that both sides have been struggling. Shot on the top of the court. Top of the uh, circle cut out. Park loses out to turn web. And now, as always, we need a player of the match, so uh, we've got about four and a half minutes in which to uh, gather your thoughts. Try and make it a popular one tonight. Zag when everybody else zigs, Mel. Skill by uh, Choi. Korea have six minutes to try and rescue their World Cup. Townsend, who's had an impressive game, she's grown as this tournament has gone on. But Shin wins the free hit. Shin doesn't look like she's got too many ideas, but my skill wins the free hit. Bouncing pass is well controlled. Here is uh, Jang. Out to that far left-hand side. Mousley comes to close down. And just behind the Korean attacker, Haycroft. That's a horrible tackle from Choi. But here goes Dancer, a chance for her to extend her legs. Dancer, can she find the cross? She's got support if she can find it. Dancer's still going. Dancer, shot comes in. Good save from Huang. Dropped out. Haycroft tries to apply pressure. Kim, another good opportunity for England. If they can't take. Almost brilliantly brought down by Cho Hee Jin. It was a very uh, difficult pass to bring down. She so nearly did it. Dominating all the stats, but it's still a very close game. Bray, space, Danson's got she's all unmarked. Alex Danson, Sophie Bray just couldn't find her, bring it under control. But they might have a chance here now. Townsend plays it forward to Danson. Bray's trying to make tracks in the middle. Danson spins, fires it across the circle. But uh, Martin couldn't get there. She'd also join Bray in front of goal. Townsend needs to dig deep here to try and get back goal side of Ann and plays it forward to Park. Park. Round Pern Webb wins the free hit. 
Will Career pull their keeper, you wonder? Back to Kim Young Ran. Fired in. Oh, that was an important touch from Fern Webb, and even then it's still not out of harm's way because here is Lee. Lee wins the long corner. Career trying to turn the screw, and the whistle is going to be sounded here. They want to change the keeper, they want to pull the keeper here, Career. And now they might be able to. Yeah, they stop the clock, and here comes Jung Hee Sun as the kicking back. Huang is pulled out. No, she's not. Yes, she is. She's forgotten to leave the helmet and, the, and her pads behind the gloves and things behind the goal for the kicking back to use on a corner. So she goes round the outside. We're still waiting for the whistle. Jung Hee Sun, the kicking back. Kim drops it to Jung. Jung out that left-hand side. Ball fired in, deflected goal, and here's the chance! Penalty corner, what a save! With the advantage being played, the shot came in from An Hyoju. It's still not out of hands, way right across the face of goal, and Chon Sul Ki could have made the touch. Desperately close for Korea, who had the sideline ball. Manny Hinch, absolutely fantastic. Big left foot clears it away from where the rebounders are. Here is Kim Young Ran. Kim onto the goal line for and to put it across. There is the ball. Hinch comes, clears out everybody. Hinch makes another save. Her helmet's off. The ball's in the goal. The whistle's already gone. And they can't refer because they've lost their referral. Amber Church, I think, gave that one on the far side. Well, most action that Maddie Hitch has seen in this tournament so far. Look how quick she's off her line. Balls and Sola gets in the way, but that second save that Hinch has made with the glove. It's a huge, huge save for England. And she's lost her helmet as well. I didn't see what the free out was given for. Here comes Kim Okju. Kim into the circle, too high. Now, perhaps we can have a quick look. Let's have a look at it again. Chance here for England to wrap it up. They scored, it's all over. Lily Owsley gets the second goal. And England, much to the relief of Danny Kerry, are going to be through to the quarter-finals to take on Holland. Oh, they were made to sweat and sweat hard by Korea. But in the end, the Asian side succumb as they pull the keeper. Celebrations for England. It's that, it's that aerial ball again. Danson takes it down. Anna Toman just rolls the ball up to Owsley. The, the speed of that pass enables Lily Owsley to assess the situation as she's coming into the circle. Anna Martin was there as well, but Owsley rolls it into the goal. And that comes, what, just over 60 seconds after Hinch makes the save down the other end. Six, 65, if you want to be precise. Right, break and play, Mel. Who's your player of the match? Oh, there's been some outstanding performances from England. I think Sophie Bray has been brilliant. Susanna Townsend as well. But my player of the match for this evening is going to be England's number five, and that's Sarah Haycroft. She's been brilliant. Yeah, congratulations to Sarah Haycroft. Hard in from Korea. In the case of what might have been, perhaps, for Hu Sung Young, they had the ball in the net. 60 seconds before England got their second, it was ruled out. Balls that could be a chance here. Nobody could bring that under control. But he looks a relieved man. And as, as the possession stats would suggest, it's no less than England deserved, but Korea will consider themselves slightly unlucky now as the crowd count down.
The final seconds of this playoff match, and England have made it through to the quarterfinals of their home World Cup. Smiles all round, but they were made to work really, really hard by a career team that came out and played their best game of the competition. They applied massive pressure towards the end of that match as England looked to hold on to their 1-0 lead. They had the ball in the goal, but it was ruled out. 65 seconds later, down the other end of the park, Lily Owsley pops up for her second goal of the tournament, and in doing so, books England's place in the quarterfinals against Holland on Thursday evening. What a mouth-watering prospect that promises to be. Sophie Bray gave them the perfect start in the ninth minute, but they had to wait another 50 before they scored their second. England, though, are through. They have beaten Korea in a must-swing game. England 2, Korea 0. So let's have a look and see these crossover results. Uh, yesterday, Spain beat Belgium in a shootout 3-2. Argentina thoroughly deserving 2-0 winners over New Zealand. India beat Italy a little early on today, 3-0. And now England have won 2-0 against Korea. Now, that means the quarterfinals look like this. Germany, Spain will be the first, then Australia, Argentina, and then on the second day, Netherlands, England, Ireland, India. Now, the Netherlands, England quarterfinal feeds into the Australia, Argentina quarterfinals. That should be fascinating. Germany and Spain playing off to meet either Ireland or India. Right, let's get some post-match reaction with Krista. And I'm down here with Alex Danson, the winning captain, and Sarah Haycroft, player of the match. Al, to start with you, we made some tough work of that. We were 1-0 up, we went 1-0 ahead, had our opportunities, and it wasn't until the end we were able to clinch the second. Yeah, it's delighted to be a really professional performance today against a fantastic Korean side. The crowd, again, have been absolutely outstanding. Uh, we stuck to task, uh, did the job, and absolutely delighted to progress through again. Well, congratulations to you, and also, sorry, you were so busy in the midfield, you know, up back, up back, it seemed like you were attacking down the right-hand side the majority of the time. We just couldn't get that second goal, it just wouldn't go in. Yeah, I think it was just great that we were creating so many opportunities. You could see that we stuck to game plan, like Al said. It was a real team effort today, and then we, got, we won the second goal at the end to clinch the win. And Al, you've got the Dutch up next. They've obviously been on form. You guys were able to demonstrate through the opportunities we created. Is it about that execution now? Uh, of course it is, we'll do our homework, uh, that's the wonder about a World Cup is it's one game at a time. Uh, we're delighted to meet the Dutch in the next round and we'll be ready and prepared and ready to go. Thanks so much girls and enjoy the win. Thank you. Cheers.